Hey, up, good day, everyone. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be a Philadelphia Flyers weekly outlook. It's a devilish kind of week, all against those devils, but it's also big news first. We first had Jackson Cates make his debut out of the University of Minnesota. Duluth there, same as Noah Cates' brother, who decided to go back for a senior, but will be back. And we've seen Wade Allison play. He's proven he's the real deal, and Jackson's looked very solid in his first two games. Now it is Big Z, Yeager Zamula's turn to be able to come up and show what he's worth to our Philadelphia Flyers fans. Zamula has his 6-3 flame, frame, excuse me, as the great Jamie Baskell said of Flyers Eddie Gritty, you can tell when he's confident. Uh, he shows spunk in the offensive zone. He's a great offensive-minded defenseman, but also, from what I've seen during his time covering him for Flyers Eddie Gritty um, with the Phantoms, he's a guy <clears throat> that I believe... Um, also plays a pretty solid uh, defensive game. It's just that's where he has a lot of rawness. Um, and he has a great IQ, though, to make up for that rawness where he's not always in the most perfect defensive position. He has an extensive reach, a big reach with his stick. He also has a great hockey IQ, so he tends to get back when he sometimes makes mistakes. So that's what I love to see from Zamula. He plays with an edge on his game. The Flyers need more of that. He's an aggressive player. And he, like Jamie said, you're going to know he's confident when he plays aggressive in the offensive zone. I'm excited to see what Zamola can do going up against these pesky evil devils as they're trying to break their streak of losing against the Flyers. And I understand the whole draft pick thing, but I do not want the devils to break their streak against us. So I would like to keep winning and see a good debut from Edgar Zamola tonight and actually beat these New Jersey Devils. Um, in tonight's game, where it looks like Brian Elliott will get the star, Morgan Frost would be out still, same with Shane Bogostas Bear, and same with Carter Hart, but Jamie Baskow in his article did report that Frost is skating, which is fantastic to see, but I think the Flyers, you do want to win games, you don't ever want to lose games, you never do, I understand the draft pick thing, but if you scout well, look how good Forster's doing, look how good Lazinski did before his hip surgery, and we wish him well, um, look how good they were doing. He's a seventh round pick. Lazinski forces a end of the first round, and they're looking good. Yes, they're going to have some bumps in the road, like Zade Wisdom had um, as the third round guy or here that struggled a little bit before they had the COVID layoff. But he's still a great player and has proven a lot more than you would expect early on. So if you scout well enough, these Philadelphia Flyers teams going to be fine whether they're at twenty or the twenty fifth pick again, as long as the Fair and Fletcher are doing their job. And it seems from looking at how guys have played in the Phantom system or elsewhere, but in college, and also, of course, some with the Flyers already, and Allison, the Jackson Cates of the world that you signed as an undrafted free agent, nice pickup. You're doing a pretty good job at scouting, whether it's pickups from overseas in the Sandy and the Cates from undrafted free agent, or drafting people such as Forster, Wisdom, Mason Millman, others. So I think there's nothing to worry about when it comes to that. But as far as I'm concerned, I do not want the Devils to end the streak against us. I want this to be a devilish kind of week towards them where we get back at them and we keep beating this Devils team. You do not want them to end their streak against you. Or unfortunately, excuse me, Claude Giroux actually was able to bounce up and have them not end that streak last game. He was able to really step up for the Philadelphia Flyers. Where last week they showed some strides at the end of the week, beating the Rangers, then losing, then coming back against the Devils in the game. They played trash until the final minute, so that was a really weird game. This game, you're going to need to play a lot better through and through. You can't just keep playing bad, bad, and bad, and then all of a sudden, obviously in those final minutes, get it going. That's not the strategy you want. So they're going to have to play a much better through and through game. These next two games against the Devils are in the Prudential Center at home for the Devils. Flyers are going to have to up the ante and come at them. It's going to be interesting. Um, I don't think you're going to rush Carter Hart back, but there's this space between these games. So you could, if you want to, rightfully so, give Moose all the games since it is Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, but I wouldn't be surprised if they throw Lyon in there for one of the games and the Flyers would have to play well in front of them because it wasn't Lyon's fault they lost 4-1 to one on Friday. It was the fault of the team played like absolute garbage, letting Buznevich get wide open and then Kreider at the start of that game. So you got to play better no matter who's in front. you got to play at least... Really, you should play. try to play like how you played last Thursday against the Rangers in that 3-2 to two game. You actually played pretty solid in front of your netminder there. Or how you played in that 1-0 loss to the Islanders where it was just a crap bounce last week as well. you got to show something in front of your goalie. Flyers have never had a good complete game in front of their goalie, but those games they at least showed something. Where that's what you got to show even to beat this Devils team, just like their Binghampton team that the Phantoms just beat yesterday. 
they're a team that's going to keep pushing. Yes, they're not good in the standings. No, they're not the sexiest names of the team. But there's guys like Jaeger Sherangovis that's still proving himself as a great guy going forward. Same with McLeod, who scored last game, and other guys. Bastion, that got the nice assist. These guys are trying to prove themselves, so you got to watch out for this Devils team. As we saw last game, it took a miraculous game by JVR, Voracek, and Giroux teaming up for the last two goals with the assist for JVR and Voracek on both of Giroux's tying and then goal to bring it within one in the final minutes there. So you got to play a good complete game. You got to protect your goaltender. And I'm excited and stoked to see Big Z, Edgar Zamula's debut. I understand the Flyers have been struggling this week, but I would be pretty surprised if we, or this year, excuse me, I would be pretty surprised if this week we do not take two of three because it's against the New Jersey Devils. Yes, that would mean they break their streak against us at one point, but it is no matter what team you're playing, once you play them for four straight, it's pretty hard to say that I think we're going to then sweep these three, just statistically speaking. So I'm going to say I think we should definitely be able to take two or three. I know we've been struggling, but we've been, we should be able to beat this Devils team, especially if you're able to pressure them and really come at their young players and have our young players bring the energy that Allison and Kate seem to instill and have Big Z do that as he comes in now. Jaeger Zamula stoked for his debut. I hope you all enjoyed this weekly outlook for the Philadelphia Flyers as they go against the New Jersey Devils three times two in the Prudential Center. Center, and one on Saturday back at home at the Wells Fargo Center. Time to beat those Devils and make it a devilish kind of week for them and not us. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everyone. Please subscribe to Sports Fan News and Flyers Nitty Gritty. Peace out, everybody.